We set up our little paddock area. So we've got my friend Darius ended up showing up. He's never done autocross, so I'm kind of walking through it a little bit. And of course, you guys saw I got uh, my car right there. We got the tent, and we've got the uh, JCG uh, cars that we're using to represent here. Um, so pretty much today's video, I might do a little bit of talking, but not too much because I'm really going to focus on uh, just feeling the car out. Because last time I drove this car was in New Orleans, and that was back in October. And I've done. Uh, you know in a sense quite a few changes so i want to see how the car feels and then make small adjustments i take a bunch of notes on my phone um, that way i remember next time i come out so i'm really excited to see how the car feels i'm gonna slap some gopros on the car uh, i'm gonna try and put a camera inside the car uh, as well so i can show you guys um sort of what it looks like being out on track and i might slap a camera on some of these uh corvettes for you guys to check them out so with that being said let's get to tech inspection Let's get to see what grid we're running, see what work order we're doing, and then uh, we'll start doing some uh, driving action. So thanks guys for watching. Let's get to it. All right guys, so we actually ended up being the third run group for the day. Um, so now it's like, what time is it, Ty? Almost one. It's almost one o'clock and we're just now getting to our run group. So shout out to Ty, he's on the uh, ones and twos today. He's controlling the video. See, he's strapping up the uh, GoPro. Uh, I got uh, the other GoPro up here, and pretty much I'm just going to uh, talk about what I do after each run, whether it's adjust the uh, tire pressure or just the suspension in any way, and then I'm gonna move the camera for a different angles so you guys can see uh, what the uh, course layout is like out here today. So with that being said, I'm starting out with changing nothing to the car. I've got my BC coil suspension set up to all the way stiff. Uh, that's I think that's what they are from NOLA, but my tires are at uh, 30 PSI. They are street tires. They're not 200 treadwear tires. They're the Nitto 555 G2s. So we'll see how they perform now in the 315 width. So uh, that's enough talking. Let's get to it. Yeah. 
All right, guys, so I just finished the first run. The Optima issue I was having that happened last time with the car we're going in limp mode, it just did it again. So I'm gonna try some different things to see if we can stop doing it because the car was doing great. It was doing really good. It's just that it just, I lost a lot of power towards that back corner and it's just extremely aggravating. So we're gonna try some different things real quick. And if that fixes it, great. If not, like we just gotta try something else. So I'll keep you guys updated. It's gonna be the second run now. guys recap so the second round um i decided to try some different things with buttons and traction control stability control and it actually ended up being worse so i ended up just not being in control of the car like i wanted to car still feels real gripped up real good i just everything was really delayed didn't like it so um what i did on the third round was because what's happening is when it goes from uh second to third is it goes into limp mode it hits the rev limiter and just goes into limp mode and dies and it'll stay in second and you only go up to 2000 rpm same issue i had off the manola so what i was doing is i uh, keep it in first throw it in second um and it's just one spot out here where i'm going in the third so i'm just applying a little left foot braking and keeping the engine speed down just enough to where i can keep the speed going um my right foot is still on the gas as i'm going through the turn and i, I really don't like doing it that way but um yeah, at this point it just you know it is what it is and i just got to deal with it so i'm gonna try and make the best out of these last two runs i ended up going faster than i thought i was going and i couldn't get the car to turn in on some of the harder more technical turns uh so this last round was a dnf um but these last two my goal is to uh improve on my first uh time that i put down which was 59 not too bad so uh you know the goal is improvement but overall i'm actually really happy really pleased at the way the car was turning out i slaughtered some cones i can't even say i killed them i murdered these cones and i pulled off my front lip a little bit nothing too crazy i'll show you guys i'll probably end up um back at jcg end up throwing a rip a couple of nuts in there some metal plates uh, in the back and uh so i can reinforce that so uh let me go ahead and get these last two runs in ashley's out there taking some video i know ty's out there taking some video so Really appreciate these guys, you know, coming out here. It is so hot out here, guys. We're all gonna be sunburned by the end of the day. And uh, just taking video, helping me document, uh, telling me what they see when the car's out there. If they see the car getting unsettled at a certain point, all these things really help me just become a better driver. So, you know, huge thank you to everybody. 
Uh, one more shout out, I'm gonna give it to Brandon. He has been running between all three cars, uh, both Corvettes, uh, my Challenger, and he's been adjusting tire pressures to what we wanted to on the go so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, so huge shout out to Brandon, thank you so much. Um, so anyways, let me get these last two runs in and then uh, we'll wrap the day up. So that wraps up the uh, autocross day. I'm already back home, the car's put away. Uh, got myself some food, you name it. So basically I've been uh, editing the video, watching the video. It's kind of like when you watch uh, film for football, uh, you watch it and you study it. So you know you make mistakes so you can get better. And that's sort of the point where I'm getting to. Uh, that's why I started using the GoPros and putting them in different angles to see what I like to see the most. Um, so I think I'm gonna continue to do that. That way I can see where you know I can improve and I can study it. So in front of me now, I've got the uh, final PAX raw score on the uh, Axware systems. That's where they put all your scores um, for the day. So I'm looking at the uh, Classic American Muscle Class, um, and there was a total of 20 entries. Uh, this is the first time that I wasn't dead last, so that's, a, that's an improvement there. So overall, I scored 14, um, but I just wanted to run through this data really quick because I think that it'd be good to uh, talk about. So my first run, it was a 58.5. But now I'm gonna be honest, after watching the video, that was technically a DNF. Um, I say that because I didn't go uh, the right way on the course, but they didn't catch it. So I'm just gonna be honest uh, there. And But I was also at the, uh, the very beginning where the car did experience the uh, limp mode issue. Moving on to run number two. Um, that was uh, overall my worst run. And I was having a lot of issues after I said I was going to try some new things. And I ran a 68 plus a DNF. Uh, you can kind of see where the car was moving real slow. Um, in that clip where the uh, camera was sucked up to the rear quarter panel. Uh, the following run after that, again, was a DNF. Um, that's when I got the car to pretty much reset. And I was just going into uh, with too much speed. I just went in too hot. Uh, the tires started getting greasy because they're not, you know, so much autocross tires. They're more of just like a um, summer tire. Um, so it was a 59 and a DNF. Again, you can see in the video where I'm not going around the course in the, uh, the manner you're, that you're supposed to. So you can say that, uh, yeah, I'm a little rusty. Um, so my fourth run, uh, things started getting a little better. I started, I really didn't, I mentioned I didn't like doing this, but I started doing left foot braking to keep the engine um, RPMs up. So right before the end of second gear, I would just apply a little brake to go around the corners, but keeping my foot on the gas. Um, and that way, when I would be coming out of the car, I would just like go with the brake and the car would accelerate again. Uh, just trying to keep it from going into third gear because every time it would do that towards the back of the course is when it would experience the limp mode. Um, so I was being very cautious because I just was tired of experiencing it. And then my final run, which was a clean run again, was my 59.4. So um, overall, like I, one thing I noticed about myself is like when this stuff happens to me in the car, like I get so wrapped up in it and I can't focus on my driving and then I start making a lot of mistakes, not focusing on you know running the course the right way, finishing the course. Um, but overall, it was a good day. I had a ton of fun. I saw a lot of my friends. Uh, it was a good day with JCG Restorations. It was a good day with Mullinex Racing Engines um, and the amount of help I got and uh, people telling me like they've seen a huge difference in the car and they've seen uh, growth with it um, You know, really shows that I'm headed uh, down the right path and in the right direction. So thank you guys for everything. Uh, thank you for the support and you guys know if you like these videos uh, hit that like button uh, leave a comment below and if you love these videos definitely hit that subscribe button so until next time guys peace out